I am going to start with Taurus. Hello, my Taurus out there. And happy up and coming birthday to you. And this will be a timeless reading. This will be a love reading. Okay. And let's see what the energies are around Taurus. And let's see what the messages are, Taurus. And we have the storm warning here for Taurus. Taurus. So, yeah, storm warning. So usually, with a storm warning, you usually get the mess. You know, the thing on your your phone. You usually get it on TV. Like, yes, it's going to be a storm. So they pretty much notify you before a storm comes. So watch the signs. Because it speaks of a warning, a storm warning. So it could just, it could mean that something is about to jump off, pretty much. So let's move a little bit further. And it could mean something is about to jump off with someone you hold dear to your heart, possibly. So let's go a little bit deeper with that. I got my cards upside down. Okay. And we have the action. So it looks like there's a warning. There's something that's going to come about with a situation you cl you hold dear to your heart um you're holding a heart of a situation this could be anyone um but there looks like there's going to be an action so maybe with this warning you put forth some type of action okay strategy looks like you're going to move very strategically in whatever the situation is so so far this is what we have we have storm warning we have woman holding a heart we have movement action um representing the black and white horse okay um physical and spirit i see with this with this horse the white horse white horses are spirit white horses to me represent spirit in the spiritual realm um, the energy from the spiritual realm, the black horse, is what is manifesting on the earth, on your physical world, okay? Um, the strategy, um, you implementing a strategy, you, you move, you're moving in a very strategic manner here, okay? So, let me move a little bit further. I, I'm using the new uh, deck I said I was going to use. And the links are in the description if you guys are interested in it. Um, so let's see. What do we have? We have the Jesta of Fire. We have the Page of Fire, I believe. The Jester is the Page of Fire, which is the Page of Wands. So we have something brewing here even with this little page coming forth. This is sort of like the warning here because something is brewing, okay? So let's see what is going to come about with this reading, Taurus. You're an earth sign, so let, let, let's see what's going to come about. This is your main situation here. And we have the five of tides here. We have the five of tides, which is the five of cups. Huh. The Five of Cups is that sorrow card. Yeah, that's what that is. So something is brewing here in regards to a situation that might have caused a bit of sorrow. You kind of see that on her face. As you look at her face, there's a little bit of sadness here when she's holding that heart. Okay, remember this is a timeless reading. So whenever you click on this video, it goes by how it resonates with you intuitively, okay? Um, it also can come in as a prediction, depending on your situation here. But we have the Five of Cups, and I always say, with the Five of Cups, you're looking at the three cups where it's tipped over, but the two cups are behind you. So there's, there's some type of movement coming forth here that I feel. This could be some type of news that's actually coming in that may have been a disappointment here. Let's see what's happening in the past. 
we have the hermit. And with the hermit card, you see all these lights shining. I also want to read these cards intuitively because of the visuals that I'm seeing on the picture. So let me look and see what this is. I don't know what this is in the middle. Hmm. So, okay, so I'm not quite sure what this is in the middle, um, but we have this arm holding this head and we have these lights, these lights for now. And you also have the Saturn, you have Saturn here um but this is the hierophant to me off the back i get thoughts i get kind of different aspects of the brain and thinking okay so different things i feel like it's coming into the mind i feel like actually they're, they're all going to come together and create some type of thought or or not only a thought but also an understanding of a message that's coming through when I look at this, okay? So pulling everything together with the hermit, going into your space with the hermit, and also pulling everything together to, to bring into understanding, to bring into perspective what is to come. This is in your past, okay? So right now we have the hermit and we have the five of cups. Let's see what's over your head. We have the Eight of Tides, which is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. But this was in reverse. So the Eight of Cups, meaning to walk away from a situation. So let me look at this picture. But it was in reverse. Yeah, okay. So the person is walking away. Is They're walking along this path. So... It seems as though you may be resistant to walking away. Something you're still trying to hold on to. Okay? Um, Taurus. So it looks like something you're still trying to hold on to. You may have thought of that you're going to walk away. But something keeps keep this something is keeping you there. Okay? Um I I kind of get a feel there's a deeper connection here of a, a possible love or possible person that you're holding dear to your heart okay let me see if my cards are upside down let me just check okay because these cards are coming up in reverse all right we have five of fire five of wands Oh, that's an interesting card. Look at that. You got the two skeletons, but this was in reverse. So this tells me that there's some type of fighting energy, some type of going at it, like going at each other's throat. This could be very, um, this could be an energy that's just very, a lot of emotions are flaring here. Okay. A lot of emotions are flaring. Okay. So. That's what I'm seeing here. Hard to let go. Hard to disconnect. A lot of energy flaring. This is what's beneath you. Stranger of Fire is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. So with the Knight of Wands, let me see what the hell this is. Looks like an octopus. Octopus with a mask and some fire and some water that's interesting but this is the the stranger of fire which is the night i have to figure out what the heck stranger meant it's the night of fire so the night of wands the night of wands and usually with the night of wands your 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 movement you're coming into action you're there's someone here that's going to be a door opening um with a situation that you could be having a difficult time with you know with the eight of tides the eight of cups being resistant of walking away eight of cups in reverse and you got the five of fire in reverse um and you have the five of cups here 
some type of sorrow, I'm getting a feel of, wow, this is a tough space. But when I see this stranger of fire here, this kind of tells me that there is a bit of a door opening here. You have the seven of gardens. This is the seven of pentacles. I get a, an abundant feel from this card. I, I get a feel that things may have been happening very slow. But I also feel like there's going to be a window of opportunity coming in for you. You might have been planning. I'm getting a feel of the strategic planning that's been going on. So I kind of get a feel that it's a situation that has been, that it, it feels tough to get out of. It's sort of like the matrix, you know, you're trying to find your way. That's what I see in spirit, like you're trying to find your way, but I feel this opportunity, like you've seen this light at the end of the tunnel, or not quite at the end, but doing your process on your journey. So I get a feel that this light came as the stranger of fire, okay? Um, I feel like this, this stranger of fire or this, this night, this person is going to lead you to a path of liberty, liberty. Yeah, because I feel there's a sense of trappedness here or a sense of type of stuck and also some trials and tribulations here. So I'm getting a feel. Now, whether this is a love reading, if it is a, a some type of relationship, it could have been a, a volatile type of relationship, actually, from what I'm picking up. It could have been one of those relationships that you had some difficulties in and you were trying to get out or something might have happened in the relationship something might have happened there could, with this five of cups there could have been a loss in this relationship like losing a person that's close to you as well with this five of cups because there's a sense of sadness here but it also could be a relationship that wasn't so good it was a bit volatile you might have been it's like the war the roses type of situation you might have had it uh a bit of abuse or whatever, a bit of fighting, whatever the situation, it just seems like it was a bit volatile in this energy, in this space here. Maybe this is where the storm warning is coming from, but it could be with someone that you really love. Now we have the Ten of Gardens, which is the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles has a lot to do with money and family, okay, inheritance. Um, it, it, it has some history to it with the Ten of Pentacles. By looking at this picture, I kind of feel like this is a place where you want to go back. In this picture, it, it, it feels a bit, it feels like a, it's, a, it's an abundance here. Like there's some type of happiness here, some type of abundance. So I feel like with this individual here, which is the stranger of fire, this person is coming in possibly as a stranger, but also I feel like this is a person with the fire energy. This person is a person of action. So I feel like this person is sort of like going to lead you out of a situation where there's a lot of happiness and abundance at, okay? Um, let me just pick one more card here. And this was... Wow, that's interesting. This is came up in reverse too. This is the Empress. Ah, okay. The Empress. This is about abundance. Abundance. Okay. This could be uh, Aries actually too. This Empress energy that's coming up in reverse. I got to straighten out my cards because I do not like to be pulling these reversals. But it's something that's stuck in the universe pretty much. It's something that is stagnant with the empress okay um the empress is about giving birth it's bringing forth something that's new but it's something that it's still being held up okay with the empress here the magician okay this is my last card i'm gonna pull because i got that stuck energy um with the empress in reverse but we got the magician and the magician is about manifesting its magic it's about manifesting its energy. So if you may not know how to get out of the matrix, this person knows the way. This person is leading the way out of this matrix type situation from what I'm seeing. This person is very strategic. This person is connected to spirit and to the physical. 
spirit and to the physical. I kind of feel like whoever this person is, they kind of see things in the spiritual realm. Your, your spirituality or your situation may have been stuck like the Empress in reverse, but also being in that hermit mode, having all these things coming at you like these thoughts, but you still not kind of being able to bring things together, someone, whether it's you or someone else. Um, so that's what I see here. This is very interesting, especially with these cards, don't you think? Let me know. Put it in the comments section, you know. Yeah, let me um, grab the uh, Doreen Virtue here. But these cards are very interesting. I got to say, they're very interesting. Let me know in the comments section. Let me just pull a few Doreen Virtue cards here, Taurus. Being that your birthday is coming up. Codependency. Wow, wow, wow. That kind of makes sense by the way this reading is going. Codependency. Let your friends help you. That's so interesting, isn't it? Because this person here is going to find a way out of a situation. This person is going to come as a help to you. So let your friends help you. That makes a lot of sense here. Attraction. Maybe there's a love or an attraction to this person. It's really that's driving them to help you. There's some type of love and attraction. That's interesting, isn't it? Wow. Sort of like the deliverer. Sort of like the person that is moving not only with their heart, but they have action to it. But their heart is their inspiration to bring some type of healing of family issues. And you know, we had got that, that ten of gardens here. So I did, I said it speaks about family, it speaks about generation, it speaks about family and history. This could be someone that known you for a period of time as well, that knows your family, that has some history, that wants to help you, that might have had a hidden love for you. A hidden love, that's what I'm getting from spirit. I feel like this person may have been a friend, whoever this is, but they have a love for you. This person, I kind of see that you've actually hung out with. You might have hung out as a friend with this person. This person may have also held what was in their heart and how they felt because you might have been in another situation and they seen you in this situation and this situation broke their heart because it didn't work out. They didn't like to see you hurt, but it was a situation that you didn't leave. You kind of lingered on in the situation. Hmm. Wow. Now they see that you need help. Mm-hmm. They're going to help you out of there. Yeah. See, they're moving with two... St this reading is getting deep. This reading is getting deep. This They're moving with two, two energies. Okay? They're moving with their spirit. The white horse. They're moving with their physical. And because they have love for you in their heart, there's an emotional element to this as well. So there's three energies. There's spirit. There's the physical. And then there's the emotional here. So that's very interesting. This is one deep reading, I gotta say. And maybe I can just thank these, these cards here. Okay, <laughs> because this is really deep, guys. Let me know how you think about this reading. Happy birthday, Taurus. This is for Taurus. Until next time, God bless you.